Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another journal with me video. Today's journal with me is a little bit special because it's a collaboration with a whole bunch of creators. This is one that's been set up by JD or Uni from Willowbound Journals and she has made it all about the theme of keepsakes. So it's all about journaling your life, your history, and she's come up with a prompt for every day of August and she's got a different creator to represent each day's prompts. So the one that I picked is friends. So I actually have this box in my room full of ephemera from my pre journaling or junk journaling days. So before I knew how to put together a junk journal and fill it up with stuff, I used to just throw all of my stuff into a box. And so a lot of this stuff I've kept from high school and before high school. So what I did was I went through the box and I picked out some things that I felt were relative to the prompt friends. And then I didn't really want to use the originals so I scanned them into my computer and I printed them out on a small scale and that way I can also fit a whole bunch extra onto the same spread. So the first thing I'm doing is just cutting out all the pieces that I've scanned and printed. I have some cards, I have some photos, a poem, there's an envelope, just a whole bunch of things and I'll talk a little bit more about what each thing is as we go along. But the first thing I'm doing is just cutting everything out so that way I can just see what I have in front of me and I can try and work out how to fit everything into the same page spread. So I felt inclined to journal about friendships from high school because I have a lot of mementos and happy memories from that time period in my life. I had a really nice little friendship group that I'm still friends with today and so I kind of wanted to reminisce on some of those times and journal about the different bits of ephemera that I have sitting in that keepsake box. The only original piece of ephemera that I have is this gold envelope which I thought I might like to include somewhere on the page but like I said everything else is just skins. So I know that because I have quite a few pieces I'm going to be working across a couple of different pages so I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to be able to fit everything. I have a postage envelope that I scanned in plus the cards that came in it. I have a picture of a stack of letters from one of my best friends in high school. And I also scanned in some envelopes from another friend of mine from high school. There's a poem there from when I was in primary school. I think I was maybe six or seven. And a friend wrote a bunch of those out and gave to some of her closest friends and I've kept it. It's over 20 years old now, which is really cool. And I didn't want to use the original, so I just scanned it in and printed it out. I also took a photo of some drawings from another friend from high school and then printed that out and cut them out. So as you can see, I'm just working everything into the page. This little picture of the envelopes, the big stack of envelopes or letters, is the one from one of my best friends from school. She's still one of my best friends today. And we used to write letters to each other each week so so one of us would write a letter and then bring it to school or send it in the mail and then the other one would write a reply and then we'd swap it and so on so we just write letters to each other back and forth even though we we're seeing each other at school pretty much every day it was just a really nice way to get creative and keep in touch with each other and just I guess because we weren't in all the same classes it kind of helped us to stay close to stay as really close friends even if we didn't get much time uh, during class at school to be together. So I ended up gluing that photo of the envelope stack on top of part of that gold envelope just to help lift it off the page and then I also stuck the scan of some envelopes from my other friend on that first page as well as the drawings from another friend. And now I have this mailer envelope, which I've again scanned in and these cards that came in the original mailer. So when I was in high school, I actually got really sick with an autoimmune disease and I was in hospital for about a month. And then I spent another couple of weeks after that relearning how to walk and I was quite seriously ill at the time. And I think I didn't realize at the time how many people I had surrounding me who really loved and cared about me and who really went out of their way to um, try and make me feel better during that time. So that was actually an envelope from my art class in school. So it was from the teacher and the students all together. They wrote in some cards and they put it all together in an envelope and put a really big lollipop in there and sent it to my home address and then my mom brought it to me at the hospital. So 
it was quite special and I think in hindsight even more so because at the time I was just a little bit too unwell to really appreciate it. And those beautiful washi tapes that I used along the side there are from the washi tape shop and you can use the discount code Johanna10 to get 10% off by the way. I've also posted a little haul video all real on my Instagram page if you want to see some of the new tapes that I got from the washi tape shop. They're so pretty. I love that sunflower one that I used in this spread. So on this page, this purple page, I decided to take some black acrylic paint and just paint like a splodge of black along there so that I could give myself like a platform to write on. And my plan was to write on top of that with some white pen. I always love the way that looks. So now the second last step before journaling here for me is just to add some stickers around the page. So I put some tiny word stickers, some alphabet stickers, and some decoration stickers like some little floral stickers around the page and some little animals and stuff just to help decorate it and bring it all together. So now while I'm filling in some journaling around the page I thought I would read you a little section of the journaling. So I wrote, when I was 14 in year 9 I suddenly became very ill. I had an autoimmune disease that was misdiagnosed and changed diagnosis many times. Meningitis was one of the misdiagnoses, as well as Stevens Johnson's disease, both potentially fatal. Thankfully for me, what I had was neither of these things. And after a month in the hospital and three weeks on crutches relearning how to walk, I made a full recovery. Whilst I was sick, I received so many cards, drawings, and gifts. I was too unwell at the time to truly appreciate all the love I had surrounding me and all the beautiful people who were thinking of me and praying for my recovery. And here is a little flip through of the finished spread. So just showing you all the little pockets and everything that I included. I so enjoyed this prompt because it literally prompted me to reflect on a time in my life that I haven't really thought about in more recent years. So it kind of took me back to a time where I think even though it was quite a difficult time for myself and for my family, it was also a time where I feel like I was very, very lucky. So I really, really enjoyed this journaling prompt. I will leave links down below in the description box to Uni's channel as well as her Instagram page and everything else that I mentioned within this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this journaling process. I hope you're all doing really well and I will see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.